What's going on guys? So in this video, I wanna share with you a Shopify store that's currently for sale on flipper.com. The asking price is quite hefty. It's 370,000 US dollars. And this is for a dropshipping business that is currently making in the region of 15,000 US dollars profit. That is profit each month. This is a store which is currently dropshipping from China. They have a Chinese supplier. They are using Shopify as the host of their website and they are using predominantly TikTok ads to generate those sales and generate those profits. Profits. So in relative terms, it's a fairly simple setup and business model, making it ideal for the beginner. If you're looking for something that's relatively simple and straightforward, this is a great business to learn from. I don't want to say easy because when it comes to business, then nothing is easy. However, this is pretty much as simple as it gets, as straightforward and easy as it gets, which is a dropshipping business from China using Shopify and social media advertising. So let's jump straight into it then. This is the listing on flipper.com if you want to sign up to flipper.com it's 100 percent free and you do get a lot more information if you have a user account it's like a three to four minute onboarding process where you have to answer some questions um, but just go through that because in my opinion it's worth it um, you get to see what's out there what's currently working and it's a great way to do product research if you find a shopify store that's currently for sale and has proven revenues like this one and you can find out exactly what their best selling products are which is exactly what i'm going to show you what to do and how to do in this video then it's a great way of finding those proven tested products so you know that you're onto a winner. So if you're a beginner watching this video and you do want to use these guys and replicate these guys, then I'm going to be showing you everything, breaking down everything. So we'll take a look at their Shopify store, which you can use as design inspiration. We'll take a look at exactly what their best selling products are. And of course, we will take a look at what their ad creators are too. So essentially, you'll have all of the inner workings, all of the inner makeup of what this successful business is doing and what it looks like so we'll jump back into flipper then we can see the monthly profit is about 15,000 US dollars the site age is one year so that's pretty decent to say he's been in business for about a year and the profit margin is 30% 30% being completely honest and upfront is probably towards the higher end when it comes to dropshipping businesses typically I can get somewhere in and around sort of 15 and 20% now if you're thinking that's terrible I'm not going to do dropshipping dropshipping in my opinion is just a means to an end it's a way to value validate and test a product if you want to build something legitimate not necessarily legitimate dropshipping is legitimate I should say if you want to build something sustainable for the long term then once you've validated it through dropshipping then you should look to then private label and source that product in higher quantities in my opinion and that's how you build a true brand and a business which is going to be even more profitable and sustainable in the long run so this is their best selling product we can see if you're not familiar with what these are um, they're basically healing crystals um, there's many different variations and variants I have gone ahead and found a supplier which sells these exact ones it's the sort of thing which is becoming ever more and more popular so definitely a great niche to be getting involved with especially this time of year so this is reflected in its revenues if we take a look uh, month on month we can see that kind of Q4 in 2021 was some great months for him and just went from strength to strength in October doing 33,000 nearly double that in November and then nearly double that in fact double that in December this is a time where people are spending money on these sorts of products this is information given from the seller himself then so he says that he found crystals are one of the absolute best niches to be in he's been building brands for the past four years now so he has some decent experience it's just one of those product categories that's amazing for level of value and satisfaction it delivers to the customers and the physical simplicity of the products themselves I couldn't agree more to be honest given what the product is like the actual size of it the weight of it the ease of shipping and again that level of satisfaction that it gives to customers then definitely one of the easier niches to get started in as for operations then he has a supplier in china which is very reliable um it doesn't say aliexpress so given the level of success with this business um, i would say that's probably using an agent rather than aliexpress because they can be um, unreliable especially when you start scaling things up they can see the orders placed on the store and fulfill them from the source so they might be using someone like bs dropshipping who has access to a shopify store back end which means they can just go in there as and when as they please fulfill the orders for him and they probably send him an invoice at the end of each day or each week which he simply has to pay his team consists of two vas so they're virtual assistants typically these will be people working in different countries and lower income countries one does billing and inventory management and the other does customer support customer support being the big one it's probably one of the most time consuming tasks 
or operations in a dropshipping business because of delivery times the most common email you will of course get will be people asking where the orders are so that's why it's really important if you are working on tight time schedules or if you have a tight timetable because you're working a job you have a family whatever that may be then i definitely recommend outsourcing customer support as soon as possible his time is spent managing ads and coordinating the team so his setup is very similar to mine in fact that he takes responsibility of the ads one to two hours a day which is about right so not bad for a business given the return that it's given him to spend one to two hours a day uh, managing the entire thing. That being said, let's jump into the store now. Um, I don't want to bore you too much by going through all of the information, which you guys can find out if you want to. You can head over to flipper.com and see all the same things I'm going to show you in this video. Let's take a look at their Shopify store and their design. Straight away, it looks like a debutify, a debutify template. So we'll just confirm this with our Koal inspector. It is indeed. So there is no need to spend a significant amount on a Shopify theme, regardless of what people tell you. Free ones will do the job especially one of the beauties and one of the reasons why Shopify is just the best platform in my opinion is partly down to the app store the third-party apps you can install onto your store just make it so much more user-friendly and adaptable um, versus any others so at the top they have a very typical setup like you would see in most Shopify stores it's not a lot more to say there to be honest got some nice photos here featuring um, this person here whether she's part of the business or just a previous customer or influencer whatever it may be it's always nice to have huge human beings on your Shopify store to show that there's real people behind the brand and you have real customers. You may have heard me speak about it in previous videos. The number one thing you have to overcome as a new business is trust. And a great way to do that is to feature pictures of your customers. That's why review apps like Looks, A Reviews, that sort of thing um, are definitely a necessity in my opinion. They have this complimentary gift box with every order. I've checked into this. Um, it's basically just a sticker on a box. This is something any half decent agent will be able to take care of for you for a matter of pennies it's also a fantastic way a brilliant way of separating yourself from any competition and again overcoming that hurdle of trust if you have a product that's branded straight away you look more legitimate versus any other business that's just selling a generic unbranded product so definitely something to consider if you can do that with the products that you're selling they have some scrolling testimonials neither here nor there to be honest the home pages aren't that important or at least from my own experience it rarely makes a difference most people are going straight to the actual product page and hitting the add to cart button there and then um, so let's do that in fact let's check out the product page and let's go for I'm going to go for this one here because it's the most interesting in my opinion. I don't know a lot about um, these healing crystals. However, I do know that they're big business. Layout wise then, a very simple layout, very traditional. There's no dynamic checkout button in fact, which is interesting to see. Um, it's a common feature and something I recommend um, the people that I work with. As for the actual description, we can see again, just a typical layout, a couple of different headings, keywords highlighted in bold, um, a GIF showing the actual product itself. With a product like this, there's not really a lot can be shown or demonstrated in a video. So a simple GIF like this pretty much says everything there is to say about it, other than what they actually go on to say here and actually describe the different benefits, but it's all backed up with trustworthy claims or things that generate trust with their customers. So they're quoting different doctors, they're putting different testimonials here from customers and things like that. Keywords within the niche that people who are also interested in the niche will resonate with. You may hear other kind of big influencers talking about using the same language as other people because different niches, different industries have their own languages. And by using words like that, you help people feel comfortable. You come across as professional because you know what you're talking about. And all this is going to lead to a professional opinion of your business, which is going to help people feel more comfortable and trusting of you. They finished the product page off with this little handmade and not sold in stores. Tap the buy now button to get yours. So it's kind of like a call to action to get people to buy it. Um, whether it makes a difference or not I'm not sure I've never seen this strategy myself I might test it and see if it works for me um, and then they actually go into different picture reviews of people who have bought the product and again this is brilliant just for building social proof it's just typical and you know kind of almost like textbook um, example of what you should be doing for your own stores let's take a look at the Google Trends information for healing crystals then we can see that I'm not sure what happened here again I don't have much experience in this niche but we can see from sort of 2009 it's been a slow and gradual increase in popularity everything went skew with in and around sort of covid times and we can see it's now kind of returned to where it was pre-covid so if i had to guess this would continue to increase in popularity niches like this are definitely not to be avoided 
Um, if anything, it shows a strong, consistent demand for the product throughout the year. So there's going to be a strong and consistent demand um, or influx of customers, um, I should say. If we go worldwide, we can see the demand is stronger. There's more people, which is obvious really because the world is bigger than the uk probably should cut that out of the video <laughs> but the great thing about google trends then is it shows you where that interest is by region where the most popular countries are um, searching for this particular thing and we can see it's actually australia and uk so if you were to get behind this and try and replicate it and make some money in this same space then if it was me that'd be my t my go-to countries the countries i'd be focusing on as for the supplier of this product then we saw if i remember correctly just double check this they're selling it for 34 pounds reduced down from 100 which is crazy um, and i found a supplier here um, which has as you can see lots of different variants exactly the same as what these guys are selling and, and you can get it delivered so this is free shipping too with 15 day on time guarantee so you could definitely roll with these guys to begin with and like i said as soon as you establish some sort of traction and you've validated you can make it work then start to look at agents and getting it private labeled even if it's just a sticker on the box it's going to help separate you from anybody else so four pounds all in pretty much they're selling it for 34 pounds all in pretty much which leaves a very healthy profit margin of 30 pounds per sale for the advertising creatives they're using then they have a few different ones however i'm going to show you the top one so i'm going to play this so for you now I'm probably going to get demonetized or have a strike against my channel um, because of the music that's being used in this. So if you are interested, definitely head over and check out the ad. Um, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll describe it to you. Basically, all he's doing, where well, you can see what he's doing on the actual video, but what he's talking about is the different benefits and applications of the product. So we're saying that he used to real, really struggle with focus and doing work from home until we had some of these in his house, on his desk and that sort of thing. So there's definitely like a clear target of the type of person which they're aiming for um, with a product like this. This is another ad creative they're using. Again, another very simple creative. I'll show you the beginning. Um, they basically ordered a few of these themselves at four pounds. It's not a big outlay. They've found somewhere in public with a nice backdrop. And again, the same person is making the same kind of illustrating the same pain point and then highlighting the solution to that so she's describing how she struggled to take focus and she struggled to be focused and, and proactive throughout the day until she got some of these which have made her feel more calm she gets better sleep she's more productive so on and so forth but super simple yet super effective content to film something like this yourself probably you could do it within an hour just to show you one last creative from these guys then so we've covered all bases i'm just going to mute this um just so the video doesn't get a strike against it but as we saw here we can see the sticker on top of the box super easy like i mentioned it cost you pennies a nice backdrop in the back of the video in this one she's talking about motivation she's saying she really struggled to be motivated throughout the day and get work done until she had one of these things um, which just helps us stay on track more focused and therefore more productive so again just a real simple video ad creative as long as you're comfortable speaking on camera they haven't put their face on camera you could even get an influencer somebody more comfortable to do this for a pretty cheap price i would say for about 100 pounds you could get somebody to create something very very similar to this and so with that being said then guys that covers everything pretty much behind this business the inner workings everything has been uncovered in this video so if you are looking for a business concept that's proven tried and tested you've seen everything in this video to go out there and do that now just to make it clear i'm not recommending anybody copy this business far from it use it as inspiration put your own twist on it get your own range of products within the same niche everything has been validated you just need to find what works for you so with that being said then guys thanks for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe for more drop a like so i know what kind of content you guys like and one final quick note actually if you haven't started your business yet and you're still need some help um, make sure you check out my free training it'll be the top link in the video description below it's a step-by-step -step training that will show you how to launch your business in the next 21 days as a complete beginner you go from zero to having a business that's making sales in less than 21 days so make sure you check that out and like i said it's 100 free thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one